Hello everyone, Zek from Skippy Z here. Welcome to my video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create and set up a resource pack for Terraria. This will be an essential first part to be able to replace things like textures, sounds, music, and text. So, let us begin. Step 1. Locating the resource packs folder. So here we are in the menu screen. We proceed by going to the workshop button, use resource packs, then open folder. And this is where the resource packs are stored. Alternatively, you can find the resource packs folder by going to Documents, My Games, Terraria, and then Resource Packs. And here we are. Step 2 Creating the folder for the resource pack. Now right click in any blank space, then hover over New, then Folder. Now you can name your folder anything you want. I'm just gonna name mine My Resource Pack. Step 3. Creating the content folder. Now we double click on the folder to go inside it. Then we do the same process as before when creating a new folder. Right click on blank space, new folder. But this time make sure you name it content. And this is required. That is where all of the assets will be stored. Step 4. Creating the pack.json file. Now first, what is a pack.json file? In my understanding, it holds the information of the resource pack which are the name, author, description, and version of the pack. Now to make the pack.json, we click on a blank space, hover over new, then text document. Now we name this text document pack in lowercase. Now as you see, it's a text document, not a JSON, which is what we need. So to change it to a JSON, we first go to view, then check this checkbox in file name extensions. Then we can now see the file name extension or file format. And we can also rename it. So to rename the file, we just right-click on it and go to rename. Or just click on the file and slowly click it again. Now I'll change this txt to json. Now once this pops up, just click on yes or just press enter. Now as you see, here is our pack.json file. Step 5. Setting up the pack.json file. This step will be very important and it's required so the pack will appear and work in-game. Now for this step, I would recommend using a program called Notepad++. Because in my opinion, it's a good program to use when editing JSON files. So now, we proceed by opening our file by just double-clicking on it. So now, here we are. Now proceed by typing this script. Now what I've put here is going to be displayed as the name of this resource pack. Now what I've put here is going to display who created a pack or the author of the resource pack. Now what I've put here is going to display the description of your resource pack. You can use this to explain what your resource pack replaces and etc. Now what I put here displays the version of your resource pack. So essentially this will be showing what version the resource pack is. And now finish the script with... And there you go. That's our script. The next thing we're gonna now do with our script is just go to file and save or just do the control s command and there we are our script is now finished also if you want to skip this step entirely i have a template of this in the description down below that you can download which is pretty much ready you can just replace these and then so now that the script is finished we should now be able to see the pack in game so now here we are in the game we now go to workshop resource packs then here we are this is the resource pack we just made this is where all of the info went to this is the name of the pack this is the order of the pack this is the description and then this is the version and now this is our resource pack which is now appeared and working in game now we have another thing we can do we can add an icon now this step is not required but it is recommended an icon will help make your pack more recognizable my recommendation for an icon for your resource pack is that it should be in a square resolution like 1000 by 1000 or 500 by 500 for example. An image that is not in a square resolution also works, but I will show you the results later. Now right here, I've prepared an icon that I'll be using for this tutorial. If we take a look at it, it pretty much is just my logo. And this image is in a 1000 by 1000 resolution, which is a square resolution. But as you see, it is named logo, but we need it to be an icon, so we just rename it to 
icon. Now all we have to do now is just put this in our folder and there we go. And now here we are in the research packs menu again and as you see this is a research pack and as you can see the icon is right over here. Now this time I'm going to show you what it looks like if you use an image that is not in a square resolution. Now if I were to show you the image it looks pretty much like this. This one is in 1280 by 720 resolution which is not a square resolution as you can already see from here. Now if I were to show you this in game. So here we are once again in the research packs menu and here's our pack. This is what the icon looks like. It is now stretched to a square which kind of looks weird. So that's why I recommend you use a square resolution icon. So we have now finished creating and setting up our research pack. And this is the end of the tutorial. So I hope you guys learned something from this. And I'll be having other research pack tutorials such as replacing textures, sounds, music, and text. And this tutorial is basically going to be the first step for doing all of them. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like this video, you can leave a like. And if you want to see more tutorials or content from me, click on that subscribe button and ring that bell. And if you got any feedback or comments about this video, leave them in this comment section down below. So anyways guys, goodbye!